Hi Capricorn, welcome to Michelle, we're doing a reading. How are you? How are you? Ask yourself. Doing good, Sal. Of course you are, because it's the end of the week. Congratulations, you made it again. <laughs> Every day is a struggle, Sal. I know, trust me on that. I hear you, but this hair is not struggling. It is keeping it up with the Kardashians. <laughs> but before we start, if you are new to this channel, we are in partnership with all the home TV shopping network. <laughs> because this weekend, um, we are not just releasing one, two, three. We're releasing hundreds of new items in my website. Miss Spray is by the end of... Oh, no, it's already out. The 10 new collection for Miss Spray is already out. Um, and this one is our lovely wooden box for your trinkets like that okay you put your smudge sometimes you can put a blunt also it depends on oh, <laughs> your your weed over here it's up to you whatever you want to put okay those the essential sell the essentials okay got it so selenite and a blunt yeah it looks like the same though but this one is a thick one okay <laughs> so so do check it out okay because uh, I also coach here. So wood is important if it's about earthy stuff. So such as this for your crystals or your tarot. I use glass also um, as a case. But it's, of course, it's, you know, breakable. And this one is more like, uh, you know, like more rugged. Okay, so you have moon, you got the hamsa. You got, you got everything there, okay? And I like that it has the, the grid also. So you can put your crystals on top on your desk right there. Okay, so... You ask me how to cleanse crystals, okay. A tap of a selenite, it works, okay. And also cleansing through the moon or through the sun. It gets tricky because there are crystals you cannot put the sun under, okay. Like selenite, you cannot put in the water or, you know, because it's going to dissolve, okay. Make sure. So that's that. Okay, so Capricorn. Oh, I, I know, I know. I did tell you guys, like, you know, comment there about business and stuff, your questions about business. Um... First things first, if you are trying to come up, you know, let's just say, okay, before I look at even the chart, okay, okay, because you're going to talk about, Sal, help me with the business, because you told me, like, put a question. Before, okay, you get to a business, all right, without, this is me, without an astrology part of it, or tarot, um, you need to ask yourself, are you willing to die for it, for it to happen, meaning everything, you will lose everything, your life, everything, are you willing? That's the first question. Because if it's not, then it's just a hobby. Because it means like you just want to do it. Because it's fun. But a business is not fun. A business is a grind. A business is a business. Is a business. <laughs> it's a life. It's a baby. You create. You commit for life. Same thing as if you're a mom, right? You commit to that baby, right? Because the baby dada didn't commit, you know? There's no alimony, so what I got to do? <laughs> exactly. You know? Because those are all part of the fifth house, which is creation, okay, and taking a risk. Fifth house is, you know, progeny. So you took a risk creating that baby, right? That hopefully they're going to be, you know, doing good at some point. <laughs> mm. Same thing as the business. They're going to take a risk, but you have to give it all. And if you say, no, I can't, I don't think so, yeah, then don't go. Don't even try. Just go back to work. <laughs> That's how I am. Now, if your answer is yes, put it there. And then we'll go to the next video with what's the next process. If you say, yep, willing to die, then join me. <laughs> I love to have a Thanos moment. Okay, here we go. But more, I'm more of a Doctor Strange. Okay. Here we go. Um, see, look at that. There's a baby. Mm -hmm. um, there's that. Ukulele music. There's this person who feels like you're so you're making their life difficult but then you're you're saying it's like I don't even care about you okay <laughs> so so there's someone who's saying that's like you know how you make my life difficult you know how I don't care about you okay <laughs> I only care about you before cuz you guys could have babies also so this is the only reason why we're talking is because we share this I'm actually just trying to um cuz this is like healing yourself this is music instrument you're trying to be creative you're trying to um, be a child again. Oh, I'm always a child. Trust me on that. Everything excites me. Well, because I don't, I'm not smart. So things smart, you know, things always surprise me. <laughs> so that's why I'm really not smart. I just look like one. Okay. <laughs> I just have good advisors and a lot of protection. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see. Here we go. 
Because the only way you can live life to its fullest if you live like a baby. Like my skin is such a baby skin. Okay. They miss you. They long for your touch. But right now you're giving them the resting B-I-T-C-H face. Because you said what you said already. And you're just frustrated. It feels like you are dealing with a monkey. No, in the picture here. Okay. <laughs> like, how stupid is this person? I don't know. This is what you're saying. Okay. I'm not calling them stupid. You are. Okay. <laughs> But this is what you're, you're frustrated about. Like, okay, so clearly this person cannot understand. Okay, clearly this person is just like this. Okay, maybe Mercury is not good. Yeah, the Moon is the mind. But for us to learn, you know, the first stages of school and stuff, or you know, for us to learn, this Mercury has to be good. Okay, it's because communication. You know, maybe they don't process words correctly. That's where your frustration comes from. Okay, starting off with a good week. <laughs> I can. Oh my god, people's lives. I swear, I just love it. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's why I just want to help the elephants on second week of April. Make sure we help the elephants. Man holding the heart. Mm -hmm. Your heart, fourth chakra, second chakra, third chakra, na chakra. <laughs> <laughs> chaka. Ask ask the community down there what is chaka. Okay. So you feel like you've done everything to align yourself with this person and to the max. And then it feels like you're under you're trying you're slowly figuring out that it may not work and you're meant with some you're meant to be with someone else. Because you've given them so many times to appreciate you and how much loyal, loving you are. But there's only one thing that they're good at is deceiving you. Yeah, that's tiring. Mm -mm. For me, fool me once and you turn into a toad. That's it. That's my saying. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm like a Maleficent there. Okay. Why I gotta lie? You lie, it's gonna bite you in the A and then SS. Mm. And payback is a B I T C H. Mm. See, I do know how to spell. I have good Mercury. <laughs> Um, so you're tired of loving this person? You're ready to give up? Because they keep lying to you. Very childish then. Okay. Let me see. You have good connections with your guides though. Your spirit guides. Okay. So that one is on point. Okay. So listen to your intuition there. Okay. It feels like you were dealing with a man child. I can't deal with a man child. Oh my god. I don't understand. A woman child? Cute. Man child? I don't understand. <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay. Women can do whatever they want. They run the world. Okay. <laughs> the man has been screwing it up for a couple of thousands of years. Okay. <laughs> Let's just say that. With the Knight of Wands here, um, Eight of Swords, you feel like you're tied to them. Six of Swords over here. You're running out of options on how to communicate to this person. You tried your best, Capricorn. I really feel it here. With the Moon card, you're going crazy now. It feels like... I mean, like, how come, no matter what I tell them, they're not absorbing it correctly, Sal? Okay. Let me see. What's wrong? Three of Cups. Well, what's wrong here is you keep giving them a chance, thinking that they're going to make you happy. Now, people don't change the way that you want them. They change when they want to. Mm -hmm. That's how humans are. They operate on their own specific way until they re reprogram themselves. Normally, they get sick, close encounter with God, tragic accidents, something fatal. Just being honest, I've been there. That's the only way that people get shaken. And they will be stubborn as H-E-L-L -L, until they get shook. So don't expect this person to get changed. Knight of Cups, Two of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Three of Wands. So let's go with the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is just looking like, um, you know, like you do love them, Two of Cups. There was an established relationship, the Hierophant, and you're looking forward to either fix this or totally forget about it. I'll take my chance elsewhere. Okay. So you're about to lose hope, giving up, but you're still here. So it means you also have problems. <laughs> I know the part of you love. I understand. I mean, even though you separate from people, you don't have to stop loving them. You know, I think so. You know, there are reasons why you get better. 
and there's a reason why you look better. <laughs> so thank the exes okay, for that. King of Wands, which means like you are so passionate about this connection, but it always just brings you nightmares and trauma, the Nine of Swords. Now, here it is with the Queen of Wands. You feel that the Queen and King is you and this person. You guys share this path, Two of Cups, and you guys are meant to be together. So that's why it stresses you out, and that's why you can't give up. There are people who are meant to be with you. Trust me, that is true. And then it expires. Trust me on that too, okay? Oh, okay. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. So, with the Seven of Wands, uh, those are just my guides. They're getting heavier with the message. <laughs> and they ask them, you okay? <laughs> yeah. They say, ah. Okay. <laughs> this heavy message now. Seven of Wands with the Ace of Wands. You're trying to tell this person, no, my legs is never open anymore for you. If you're just going to bang me, no, you're knocking at the wrong door. Okay. Because <laughs> the Ace of Wands is phallic. So you're done dealing with them and their promiscuity. Oh, well, I don't know where that come from. Because the Nine of Wands is promiscuity. They see it. So someone is playing the field and they're not Mahomes. The only person who can play the field is Mahomes because he is rich, okay? <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> so with the Seven of Wands, with the Ace of Wands, um, it feels like you're done taking things lightly, Capricorn. I feel like you're on the edge here, especially that Saturn is with you. I follow sidereal astrology, remember that. So don't come Western for me or else I will come for your jugular and you will forget your name, okay? So it feels like you're you're telling this person, I'm done dealing with your immaturity. And then Saturn makes your relationship right now kind of like slow and difficult to change. And you're praying for the best. Four of Cups. You're just praying for the best. I'll continue this reading. Link down there in the description box below. Let's see what happens um, with your person that you're dealing with in the other side. And also what's their, uh, you know, what's the advice for you with the tarot. Make sure to check me out on Instagram at Salbidora. I will never message you or DM you. That is a fake account. If you get a message, that's not me. Um, check out my new collection this weekend that is going to come at eTreeLove.me. Download my app. I do send direct message to you on how to use it, you know, for manifestation and different things. So you're missing out. We are, I feel like we are more than, we're a lot. Okay, we're more than 100,000 as a community there in, the, in our newsletter. Well, yeah, there's a lot. So you're missing out. There is a little bit of a chat over there that the Capricorn is not involved. Okay, so you need to get involved. Okay, thank you very much, guys, for watching, and we'll see what happens. Bye, guys. This time around, Six of Cups Emperor, they're gonna do the right thing, which I see it here. And then the Ace of Pentacles, yeah, they're very invested. Then why are we hiding something from the camera?